Hi everyone, Quadian here. Chemistry with Quadian, it's our channel for chemistry students from all over the world. We will teach you every day about all of chemistry theory lessons. Subscribe our channel and press the bell button for daily lectures updates. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Umeed hai aap sabhi kul thik thak honge. Aaj ke jo humare topic hai chemistry ka wo hai some confusing terms in chemistry. These terms are Isotopes, isobars, isotons, isodifers, isosteres. There is a very small difference in between these terms. So let's see what's the main difference between these terms that will differentiate between them. Our first term that we will discuss today is isotopes. That is the most common term. Isotopes, all you know, are the atoms of the same element having same atomic number but different mass number. These are called isotopes. When you write a symbol of any element, there are two things that you write on the symbol. It's atomic number and mass number. Top on the left side of the symbol, you write mass number that is represented by A. And uh, below the mass number, you write the atomic number that is represented by Z. And uh, when you uh, take the difference of atomic number and mass number, A minus Z, you will get the number of neutrons. So same atomic number means isotopes have the same number of protons. And different ma uh, mass number means they have different number of neutrons. So example discuss this clear ho jayega. Our first example is isotopes of carbon. You know carbon have three isotopes, carbon 12, carbon 13, carbon 14. All of these isotopes have the same number of protons, that is six protons in all of them. But the number of neutrons in them is different. Carbon-12 has six neutrons, carbon-13 has seven neutrons, and carbon-14 has eight neutrons. Now, take another example of hydrogen. You know hydrogen also has three isotopes, simple hydrogen, deuterium, tritium. Uh, all of them have same number of protons as they are isotopes, that is one proton in all of the isotopes of hydrogen. But uh, number of neutrons are different. In hydrogen 1, there is no neutron. In hydrogen 2, there is one neutron. And hydrogen 3 has two neutrons. The next term is isobars. Isobars are the atoms of different elements having different atomic number but same mass number. These, are, uh, uh, these isobars are the opposite of isotopes. But isotopes are of the same element, but and isotopes are, are of the same element, but isobars are of the different elements. For example, potassium and argon. Potassium 40, argon 40. Their mass number is the same, but their atomic number is different, that is 19 and 18. So they are isobars of each other. Our next term is isotones. Isotones are the atoms of different elements. Means that we have different elements. In having the same number of neutrons, in the neutron number is the same. For example, scandium, phosphorus. These are two different elements. And when you count the number of neutrons, scandium, 14, 30, there is 30 minus 14, 16. And when you take phosphorus, 31 minus 15. 16 neutrons. In both of them, they are from the different elements and number of neutrons in both of them are 16. So they are isotones of each other. Our next term is isosteres. Isosteres are molecules or ions having same number of atoms and same number of electrons are called isosteres. For example, CO2 and 2O are isosteres of each other because CO2 or N2O, dono mein humare paas total three atoms hain. One carbon, two oxygen, and in N2O, two nitrogen and one oxygen. Total number of atoms are three. And when you count the number of electrons in CO2, carbon has six electrons. Two oxygen means eight, 16 electrons because one oxygen contains eight electrons. The total electrons in CO2 is 22. And when you take the example of N2O, two nitrogen has total 14 electrons and one oxygen has eight. 
electrons. So to total electrons in N2O is also 22. As they contain, both contain three atoms and both contain 22 electrons. So they are isosteres of each other. ضروری نہیں کہ ہمارے پاس صرف مولیکیولز ہوں گے وہ ہی آئیسسٹرز ہوں بس کار آئینز جن کے پر پوزیٹیو یا نیگیٹیو چارج ہو وہ بھی اگر سیم نمبر آف ایٹمز اور سیم الیکٹرونز پر کمپوز کریں گے تو they are also called آئیسسٹرز of each other the last term is آئیسوڈائیفرز آئیسوڈائیفرز a set of nucleides which has a different number of protons and neutrons but there exists the same difference between the proton and neutron. Simple or dusty definition jo hai, two nucleides having same isotopic mass is the same. Means N minus P jo hai, wo dono ko agar same honga, to hum unko kohenge isodiphers. Example hum lenge uranium and thorium. Uranium 92 to 35. Sabse pahle iska humne number of neutrons ni kaan liha hai, wo kaise? 235 minus 92. ہمارے پاس نیوٹرونز آ جائیں گے یورینیم کا جب ہم نے کیا 235 مائنس 92 ہمارے پاس ہے نیوٹرونز 143 سیم تھوریم کہ جب ہم نے نمبر آف نیوٹرونز نکالے 231 مائنس 90 کہ نمبر آف نیوٹرونز will be 141 نمبر آف پروٹونز آر گیون that is atomic number 92 and 90 so when you take n مائنس p of یورینیم 143 مائنس 92 it is 51 And when you take n minus p value of thorium, it also becomes 51. As both have same n minus p value, so they are isodiphers of each other. Different elements having same n minus p value are called isodiphers of each other. Hope so, you have clear all terms. And if you like our lecture, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. تب نیو ویڈیوز کے آنے تک کے لیے اپنا خیال رکھیں اللہ حافظ